What's up, E-Nation? This is our travel day from Santorini to Rhodes. What's up, P-Nation? We are in Santorini, and today is a crazy day because we are about to take a 10-hour ferry from Santorini to Rhodes. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a battleship that we're staying in. No, it's an overnight ferry, so it's about 11.30 right now. We're about to get picked up by a driver, take us 30 minutes to the port to get on an overnight ferry. It should be like 10-ish hours. 10-ish hours. We'll sleep on it. Apparently, we have a cabin. I yes. have no idea what it's about to be like. That's what we're gonna show you. Every time you guys sit on it. Okay, we made it to the port and we were thinking that this was going to be a gigantic ship and we were like the only ones here. It's not here yet. There's no ship. And there's no there's people. There's nowhere for us to go. Like, it's empty. This is very eerie because I was expecting thousands of people. That is so many people. I had no idea this many people were on our cruise ship. So we may be the only people going to Rhodes tonight. I don't know. We'll find out. It's a ghost town. Just kidding. There's a lot of people over here waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Small update after some looking around. There are a lot of people down here waiting for, I'm sure, the same boat that we are waiting for. And by a lot, I mean like not that many, but more than we thought. We found an abandoned restaurant. Marco territory. Our ship has arrived, and these ships keep amazing me. It's the size of a cruise ship. I keep thinking it's going to be small. Okay, so we're not new to ferry travel. However, we've had some pretty bad encounters in the past. Every ferry we took in the Philippines was like a little bit scary in its own way, which is fine because you know it's like what's available. But here, everything's like really, really nice. The first two ferries we took were economy class, and this time we're going first class all the way. Okay, so I booked us first class accommodation for two person cabin inside. There was an outside option and I'm not sure what that means. That means that you get to be on the water, which I was very excited about because he was like going down the hall and I was like, he's gonna turn right, he's gonna turn right, we get a balcony, it's gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna sit out and look at the Santorini skyline. No. <laughs> we're inside. It's like, I feel like if we were like living on a boat or like crew members of some type of cruise ship, this would be the accommodation. A AKA below deck if anyone watches Yeah. <laughs> but this is nice. I mean, it really is nice. I like it. I'm, it's really small, but like we have a place to sleep. We were passing people that were sleeping out on the couches, like in the common areas. And we don't have to do that. And it's like, what o'clock, what? It's like one o'clock right it's now? It's like what o'clock. It's like what o'clock. What o'clock. It's like one o'clock right now. And we're gonna get a full night's rest and we'll be in Rhodes at 10 a.m. Now I'm gonna give you a tour of our room. Top bunk. Bottom bunk, you look like a cat. Closet. Life jackets. Hangers. My stuff. Bathroom. What? There's a shower. We didn't know that, so we took showers before we got on the boat. I really like it. It's actually really, really nice. It's more than I expected it to be, and it's more spacious than I expected it to be. It's good. Now we're gonna see what the ship has to offer.
So I know we're like the second stop on this route, but his boat is like weirdly empty. Weirdly empty. Also, yeah. I don't know how they're gonna summon us because it's like no intercom system yet, so. That we know of. I'm also getting a very like The Shining vibe too. Here's Johnny. Like it's a hotel that no one lives in, but we've been here for years, but we didn't know. We toured the boat, there's no one on this thing, so not a lot of action going on, no swimming pool, so we are just gonna call it a day. Hopefully we'll be able to get some sleep. I've never slept on a boat like this before, so we'll see. And I'm trying to like find out, cause we're gonna stop at a different island, right? So I think I'm gonna get up to see what it's like. But anyways, we're real tired, so we're gonna go to bed. This is the island of Kissimmee. It is one of the first stops before Rhodes. It's just north of Rhodes, but like, if you look on a map, we're practically in Turkey already. It's kind of fascinating how Greece spans all the way to Turkey. <laughs> Might be time for some breakfast. my coffee, I got nervous, so I ordered an espresso, and I don't like espresso. <laughs> Whew, good morning, they woke up early, just got espresso, and I'm like still so tired. This ship was amazing, it was like massage table, it was just like the whole time. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep on the ship where I can't see the horizon, I might have like some sickness, definitely not. I am yeah, still okay. so tired because that was amazing. Okay, so I got us an Airbnb really close. So we're, I think we're either here or here. We're being dropped off by the ferry and it's an eight minute walk all the way to our Airbnb, which is by the synagogue. That's some water. So we are walking through a moat into the old city to stay here. And we made it to our Airbnb. So we have a coffee bar, bedroom, nothing much to see there, bathroom, first tub we've ever had that wasn't on a cruise ship, a nice view, and one of the toilets that you pull the string to flush. So funny. Okay, we just got into our Airbnb. We are so excited to be here. It was so cool to actually walk through the moat, through the gates to get to our Airbnb. This is gonna be so exciting. And if you wanna see us actually explore the town of Rhodes, check out our next video. But today was amazing. The ship was awesome. Like sleeping on a ship without seeing the horizon was a first for me and I couldn't do it. So mm -hmm. maybe we can go sailing another time. Let's do it. So I booked us first class accommodation for two cab, two people. Two cabins. No. Okay, so. Wow. It's time to go. Why are you in the bathtub? <laughs> because the view was really nice. I don't know, it's just like a place to lay down. There's like a stone outside. It's like Dothraki. Oh my Game gosh. of Thrones stuff going on. 